Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. So Michigan Southwest 3rd Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction Church of God in Christ is hold, hosting a 39th annual women's convention. And joining us this morning to tell us a bit more is Alethea Taylor. Ms. Taylor, thanks for being here with us this morning. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share. Yeah, so this is awesome. Um, it's basically like a women's empowerment event, right? Yes, it's definitely that. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we encourage is uh, women to be empowered in their value. We maximize moment and we also maximize the impact that we can make. So super excited about the women that are coming from all across the state yeah. to be with us this week. Yeah, so this year's theme is empowering and encouraging the women through the seven mountains. Tell us a little bit uh, of what the meaning behind that. So the seven mountains are the major spheres of influence that mm -hmm. we are in all around the world, which is religion, education, mm -hmm. family, business, government, entertainment, and media. Nice. So our bandwidth goes beyond the four walls of where we are in the actual church, but we maximize outside of the four walls through the seven mountains. Awesome, and Alethea, will you be speaking at this convention? I will be speaking, I'll be speaking on Friday night. Nice, so tell us, what are you most excited about? I'm most excited about the opportunity to be able to activate people's interest and in understanding that we have so much more bandwidth than mm -hmm. just within the four walls, but you are valuable wherever you are. Yeah. And we want to activate that in everybody, men and women, so mm -hmm. men are included too, uh, to be able to know that when they go back to their several homes, to their counties, mm -hmm. that they can impact their communities, mm -hmm. impact their families, and wherever it is that they are maximizing within the Seven Mountains. And Alethea, tell us, this is an event that's like a convention so is it happening multiple days tell us a little bit more about the convention itself so the convention begins on Wednesday and Wednesday night we're going to be um, monitoring and um, the actual activities of having consumer energy they're going to be with us sharing uh, uh, and then we're also going to be having on Thursday night our major speaker um, Pastor Javon Smith mm -hmm. worldwide from Dallas Texas nice she's going to be here and then on Friday we're going to be featuring children and we're going to have some ladies being capped so our bishop is going to be with us Bishop Samuel Duncan on Wednesday as well and we are super excited but Saturday is the amazing day where we're having a royal tea oh yes and we are going to be crowning our mother of the year so That's we have awesome. a lot of things planned this yeah. week. yeah and that goes into the next question that there is also a royal tea happening this weekend what can people expect from that so the royal tea first of all is going to be absolutely stunning mm -hmm. the mothers are excited we're going to be having them crowned and we're going to have them share some pearls of wisdom them nice. because we're called the pearls of Southwest three so we're stringing up and coming together to make major impact while we're here in Saginaw and for the people who are uh, thinking about going to these type of events what would you tell them what what should they expect to take away if they do come if they come they are going to take away major information mm -hmm. uh, we are really there to spark their curiosity to wonder okay what is it that I can do better in my family? What is it can I participate more so in the government? And what can I really do in the business world? And what about media? We're here right now yeah. maximizing the moment. So mm -hmm. they're gonna be very encouraged to uh, enlarge their thinking and get more involved within their communities, their families, and whatever area of the mountains that they're in. I love it. And if for we wanna go to this convention, what do we need to know? Uh, do we have to sign up or register for anything? Well, here's the thing. That all they have to do is come. Nice. We do have registration, but for the evening services, it's free. We're going to be at Victorious Believers um, on Outer Drive, and we would love for people to come. It matters not age, not, it just just come, men and women. Mm -hmm. It's a women's conference, but we include the men all Everybody the time. Everybody included. Everybody <laughs> is somebody. Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. Well, Lithia, anything else you want to add? <clears throat> I want to say thank you. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage everyone to come and be a part of this major event. Mm -hmm. We are definitely going to be excited to invite everyone who comes, but you will not leave the same way you came. You will go back home empowered and encouraged. I love it. Well, Alethea, we thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yes, of course. And you can find more information on the Women's Convention and the Royal Tea. All you have to do is go to the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com. We'll be right back.